There's nothing so bad that Scar can't make better. Absolutely. How are you feeling? On the mend, I think. So what happened? Bastard jumped me from behind. Oh, well, you know, I'd never do a thing like that, don't you? I think I do, yeah. That's right. Because I like a man to see my face when I'm hitting him. It was the shock more than anything. It wasn't just a punch, he hit me with something. Then he had me off balance. I think I got one clean right hook to his mouth. Steve, do yourself a favour. Don't make out like it was Ali and Frazier. Talk like a fighter when you're not. You end up looking like a limp dick in a condom. So, did he kick you or what? Why do you need to hear this? I need the details so I can go out and find the loser that did it. Until I do, Cheyenne's blaming me. Well, for a moment, I thought you were concerned about me. I am concerned about you. Look. What's this? Compensation. What for, my injuries? There's enough there for you to go and start up somewhere else. Why would I do that? It's what you do when you're giving up the woman you love. I wasn't aware that I was. One day, Cheyenne will look at you and she'll see a dried up orange at the bottom of a fruit bowl. So why wait? This way you come out ahead, financial wise. <laughs> so you're trying to buy me off? Clearly you didn't get the message last time we spoke. So I thought this would make you more cooperative. May I remind you that although the corpse incident was unfortunate, we are a family entertainment centre with years of respectable trade. We have always been ahead of our time. We were one of the first arcades on the Foul Coast to have carpet down. Go on, keep going, you can do this. Our new casino hotel will have wheelchair access to all machines to allow the disabled of all shapes and sizes to enjoy the full range of our facility. This is crap, isn't it? No, no. No, I just think that you've just got to relax more. Just try and be yourself. Being myself that lost the plan of permission in the first place. The Enterprise Committee wouldn't be coming down to see you if they weren't taking your appeal seriously, would they? Hmm? You've got to remember who you are and what you've achieved. That's right. I'm Ripley Holden. I'm a sure when I can persuade anyone if I put my mind to it. <laughs> I can charm the bullocks of a donkey. And then sell them back to him. <laughs> I should start breaking windows more often. To a fresh start. A fresh start. Mm. <laughs> Jim got that Lover's Guide video from a car boot sale. I could borrow it if you like. Yeah, right, yeah, I look forward to that. Mm. Ripley, you're going to be late at 7.30. Hey, put the champagne on ice. I'll be back tonight with a song in my heart and a 40 foot hard on. Well, uh, I look forward to the song. <laughs> <laughs> when you came in to talk to us last time, you seemed to suggest that Mike Cooley was a bit of a lad. How do you mean? Probably in that. Not just that. Well, he's dead now, and he saw story over. He liked a night out, didn't he? Who doesn't? Would he ever get into any sort of trouble on his night out? He could look after himself. We didn't go looking. Did he like the arcades, or was that just something that he did here? No, he was keen on the slots. He was banging on about a system. A system? Yeah, where he could win. Man against machine. He's big and all that. So it'd be fair to say that he wasn't over fond of arcade owners. I don't know about that. Just wanted to win a few bob. Is that what you and him were fighting about? <sighs> him causing trouble in the arcade? We were pissed. You know how it is. 
Was it about him causing trouble with this man? The boat's fiancée, Emma. What about her? Well, he used to beat her up. We all know he did it, but... He just come up with some crap excuse or other. So I just wanted to have a word, sort him out before the wedding. That's that's what the rock was about. business plan we talked about. I have. It's a tissue of lies and bogus statistics. Well, that's just the kind I like. Well, just as long as they don't look at it too closely. Isn't that what you said to that hooker I laid on for you the other night? Have you seen your mother anywhere, love? I need to speak to her. The mother? Bloody hell, that's not you, is it, Ruth? Hey, you scrub up nicely, don't you? Hey, I'd give you one myself if we hadn't changed my ways. Oh, Barry. No. If any kids stray to the over-18 section, shoot to kill, all right? Not now, Barry. Look, just keep nodding and look like you're enjoying your work. Hey, yeah. Uh, have this one on me, my friend. Hey, oh, <laughs> Ripley, I need to talk to you about this plan to remortgage the arcade. It's not looking great. Doesn't matter. We're going to win this appeal, get the plan and permission and put the casino hotel back on track. Well, uh, confidence is commendable, but you've got to realise that if we fail... Hey, there is no such work today. This is where we turn this thing around. Oh. Yeah. Gentlemen, welcome to our family entertainment centre. This way. And this is Ripley Holden's Casino Hotel.